Okay, check this out. Okay, let me explain this. This is a sound wave, which is a, an expression of operational complexity. It's what a computer does, in a sense. It's Over time, it's a process over time. See? So here we go. Here comes the computation. And over and done with. So that's your brain computing information. It starts the computation there on the red line and finishes it here. Okay, it's just a process. Just like a, a, a complex sound wave. Now, here's the point. Everything to the left of this red line does not exist as time goes on. Why? Because it's in the past. It did exist. And everything to the right of the red line also doesn't exist. Uh, it's going to exist. It's in the future. Okay, so in that sense, the future and the past don't exist. The only thing that exists is whatever's happening right on the red line, which is the immediate here and now. Bang. Right at that point. Okay, so what? how much time is on that red line? In principle, as an immediate here and now, it's uh, actually an infinitely small point in time. And so here's the next question. Where does the consciousness live? It doesn't live in the past. Again, the past doesn't exist. It doesn't live in the future. The future doesn't exist. It exists and only exists on the red line. So... Whatever the brain is doing at any given point in time that generates a consciousness is whatever it's doing at that point of time on the red line. And as any given immediate point in time is ultimately an infinitely small point in time, there is no complexity. The brain is generating or operating no complexity at any given immediate point in time. So you look at that computation, where it starts here and finishes here. Okay, Halfway through it, let's say, on the red line, that immediate point in time, the only thing that's happening is whatever's happening right in the middle of the computation. Again, the past does not exist and the future does not exist, only the immediate here and now. So, in an infinitely small point in time, the brain is actually 100% frozen. Electrons are traveling around the nucleus of atoms uh, at an infinitely slow rate, in an infinitely small point of time, right on the red line. So how can a brain generate a consciousness if its only complexity is the complexity that exists in the immediate absolute here and now? It can't. The brain, in terms of generating consciousness, is actually completely frozen. Am I right, or have I become confused in some way? If I am confused in some way, prove me wrong. Show me how my logic, my basic material observation, is not correct. Good luck, because it is correct. It's as absolute as 1 plus 1 equals 2. So that's uh, materialism, or the idea of computational complexity, generating a consciousness completely out the window. It simply can't. Thank you.